Hi, everybody. So we're taking a break from the panel, uh, mostly because I had to order a new piece after di after not diagnosing, but after figuring out exactly where the <coughs> power switches were going to be at the bottom of the panel, I had to uh, order a new cut from my people at send uh, uh, sendcutsend.com. Anyway, so while that's happening, we got a few days. I've uh, now sw switched over, and what we're going to be working on is the front fairing. So we've got we got the piece prepped. Everything is ready to go. We've got it marked. We've got it centered, and so and we've got the front uh, piece fitting on. So now it's about fitting it onto the tire itself. And this this is going to be really interesting because what we have to do is we have to position the plane as though it is flight level, but at the same time we need to have the front wheel off the ground. As you jack the plane up here, you can see the front wheel is sort of moving back. Right, so those scales that we use for the weight and balance are the perfect height uh, that once the mains are on there, and then you can see I rolled the tie down over and just uh, pull the tail down and, and secure it, that the nose just gently floats above the ground like a sixteenth, thirty second of an inch. Actually, what I did was. Um, I floated it so it's just, just, I mean, it's just barely, it's not, it's barely scraping the ground. It is technically touching. It's not touching, it's not, it doesn't have any weight on the ground, but the tire itself is gently scraping against it. Why did I do that? One, if it's free rotating, it's a pain in the butt to try to align. You can see I've got a piece of painter's tape over the wheel, and that holds a tiny little spacer block of wood that you use, uh, to hold the fairing on so that the spacing is proper. And that's fine and all, but the problem is if the wheel is completely freely rotating, it makes it a pain in the butt to work with. So I have it ever so gently scraping the ground. Uh, but the idea behind putting it in this orientation is you need that front wheel to be a basically floating as though you're flying, right? When you align up this front fairing, the idea behind it is that as you're flying, you want that fairing to be in the same orientation as the two mains. Now, when the mains are off the ground, they just droop down towards the center. When the front nose tire is off the ground, it droops down, as you saw when we jacked the plane up. So, to make sure that we've lined this up properly, this is what we have to do. No big deal. Uh, we put that spacer block piece of wood on, and then it's time to put the fairing on. Now next pain in the butt challenge is that you've got to have everything aligned. So we're going to wind up putting uh, a bunch of, we're going to put a big long piece of painter's tape uh, extending down the center line of the wheel towards the tail, back from the front wheel so that we can align up the fairing properly. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we're going to be doing some plumb bobbing and we have to do measurements all over the place. There you can see the uh, stand that I made for it, which is working good. So that's, that's the first challenge. The second challenge is uh, off both sides of that front wheel, there's going to be a brace, right, which connects that front wheel fork with the fairing. And the problem is you can't have both of those on and put the fairing on at the same time. Later on in the future, you'll see why this is, is the way it is. But so for the moment, uh, you can have one on the side, and then to put it on, you have to then reach your hand in with the other bracket. So you, can ha you have one bracket mounted, you slip the fairing on, then you slide your hand into the other side of the fairing, and have to sort of position the other bracket in place. It's, it, it's a giant pain in the butt, uh, but you'll see. Once, once we get it all done, then you don't have to do it anymore. So that's a, that, that's a good thing. Here you can see the official positioning. Now, one thing I will mention about this, and I'll have to mention this over the course of the rest of the videos, uh, I had decided that I wanted the fairing. So the, the fairing's nice and it's, and it's wonderful and all that, but um, I, I wanted it another like quarter to three-eighths of an inch off the ground. In other words, I wanted more tire showing. Uh, why? Well, I, I, I do plan on flying into some pretty hairy places, well, grassy places, 
Uh, yeah, so, but anyway, front fairing is what we're working on. Next video, more of it. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.